Good morning. Um, um, this video is going to be a little bit dialed down, okay? Um, I just got, I just came in from outside. It's beautiful outside right now. It's, um, I'm not in the mood for what time is it, <laughs> but it's, it's 3.30 in, uh, in the morning on Saturday, okay? <clears throat> well, my, my voice is a little bit lower today, but, um, yeah, um, I was outside. It's beautiful. It's 35 degrees in Minnesota. I, I went out there like this, you know, I just, my sweatshirt, um, Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Uh, some of you are doing Celsius, right? <laughs> doing Celsius. How does that work? Is zero Celsius the same thing as 32 degrees Fahrenheit? freezing right or how does that i don't know there's there's probably an app for that <laughs> but uh yeah it's you know when i go out there in the morning you guys it's like 2 or 3 a.m the entire neighborhood is sleeping right it's just peaceful and it's quiet and i just i went on the deck and i walked up and down the driveway a little bit you know and um Early in the morning is when I kind of do my best processing, you know, when I'm thinking about stuff. So I'm out there like thinking, I've been thinking about it all, all morning, but, um, the previous video, um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, it's okay. It's fine. But, um, I just didn't want to give you guys the impression that, um, uh, when I walk into a room, I'm not that guy, like... Here I am to save the day. All right, now the party can start, you guys. You know, n no, I'm not that guy, okay? Um, and what I, what I kind of feel a little bit, I don't know, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I mentioned something about I don't try to be funny, I just am. Well, what I meant was it's just kind of a... It's just built in. It's just my personality. Do you know what I mean? So it's not something I have to, like, force. You know what I mean? Um, so I just wanted to clarify a little bit. It's like I'm not trying to be a comedian. That's not it at all. Um, I kind of look at it as um, even when I'm in the grocery store and I'm checking out, you know, I'm at Aldi or something, and my, my <laughs> well, last time I was there, my cart was, like, heaping full and, you know, cashiers, it's boring, right? And uh, so I I try to, you know, add a little something to their day because it's boring, right? So I pull up with my huge cart and, well, can you take a guess what I'm having for dinner? <laughs> or, you know, believe it or not, I live alone and this is all for me, you know? Well, I shop once a month or just something, some little, you know what I mean? And you have to be sensitive to the person you're talking to, right? Um, like when the lady came and got me out of the waiting room, you know, James, you know, remember that? Um, and I could tell she was kind of a more serious person. But what I didn't tell you, you know, I did a couple of, you know, little jokes or whatever, just to kind of, and I, I kind of call them icebreakers or whatever, just a little, some little thing. Um, and what I didn't tell you is she has seven grandkids um, a couple of them are like 14 and 15 year olds, you know, so we talked about how that can be kind of a challenge, right? So it's not all nonstop. It, it wasn't nonstop comedy. Do you know what I mean? Um, I listen, I listen to people's stories and it's a two way thing. I'm not a fire hydrant. I think the last video I might've come across as, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a comedic fire hydrant, right? And people are like, and I, I use the term, would you just shut up? You know, they, ne they never said that. And what I didn't say is um, every once in a while, I'm like, you know, you guys, I'm sorry. I, you know, just let me know if I'm getting obnoxious. And they're, and every time they're like, oh, no, 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 this is great because we, you know, we appreciate this. Right? So... I look at it as, um, I don't know, it might sound a little philosophical or whatever, but I consider it like a gift, okay? It's not about me. Um, 
Well, it kind of is because it makes me feel good, right? To, to make somebody else laugh or smile or giggle or something like, like you guys, like your comments, you know, um, your videos are hilarious. Um, that's not the point. Well, it kind of is, you know, it's, it's hard to explain it. It is the point, but it's not, it's not like about me. It's, uh, am I, am I making any sense? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I just I was actually I was thinking about it last night, and um, it's like because mm, I was watching it, and it's like oh, it was like you know over the top, you know. But I was in a really good mood, and I'm not trying to justify it. It's just I was in a good mood, and it went way better than I obviously it went way better than I thought it would. And to be honest, you guys, when I walked in there, um, and they say if you're not nervous. You should be nervous about that because you should be a little bit nervous, right? With anything. Um, but I just, I wasn't nervous. I trust them completely and I just let them do their thing. And here's your gown and, you know, those paper, those paper gowns, you know, that they do, you know, pre-surgery. And uh, I didn't, but I could have said, oh, well, blue, yeah, that's, that's nice. But do you have something in like a plaid or something? you know, just some little thing, right? So um, I don't know if that makes sense, you guys. Um, I do have a couple of um, a couple of kind of funny things that I want to share, but I just wanted to, right? Does that, right? I mean, it's not, you know, it's not, it's more, you know, so. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let's, let's do a couple fun things. I wasn't planning on shooting today, but, um, what else am I going to do at two or three in the morning? Well, yeah, yeah, there's dishes and laundry, but I'll, I'll do that later. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, okay, we'll, we'll do an intro. I kind of, I kind of feel like doing an intro. Is that okay? Um, Ava, do we have a sponsor for today? Yep. Um, is it a good one? It's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do it. This episode of The Mad Camper has been sponsored by Goodwill Sporting Goods. Let us know how it works out. <laughs> don't, don't laugh. That's probably somebody's dad. <laughs> Dad, would you would, would you get up? <laughs> or the wife comes down. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> okay, really quick. I just remembered. Um, a couple of you uh, commented that I need to be careful not to give away any personal identifying information. I think you were referring to when I, I held up my wristbands in the last couple videos ago. Uh, and so I looked at it, and all it has is my name and my birth date. Um, you know, there is there is a barcode on there, but I, I scanned it and it came up Diet Coke. So I don't know. So I don't think is this what is this what you were referring to? I don't know. So let me know. All right, thanks. <laughs> Yesterday, day after surgery, right? I took the day off from work. I took vacation for the day, but. I have, um, it's a payroll week, so I've got some automated processes, um, technical stuff that I designed. They go out and they grab data and um, assemble it on one of my servers and anyway, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I sent an email to the team and uh, I just let them know that, you know, surgery went fine, you know, I'm doing good. Uh, my pain level is zero, you know. And one of my buddies on the team replied back, <laughs> Matt, this made my day, okay, if you're watching. Um, you finally did that facial reconstruction surgery everyone thought you were past due for. Congrats. <laughs> that was awesome. That, uh, Yeah, thanks for that, Matt. Love it. So <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> okay. Um, in the previous video, I mentioned that my anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist, was ginger. Um, I think I think he was ginger, redhead, right? 
he had a beard, you know, and because uh, I'm a redhead too, you know, I mean, not, not so much anymore, but I used to be like flaming, <laughs> a flaming redhead when I was a kid, right? So, um, and you guys know that I'm into motorcycles, right? So I, uh, I went on Google and I did a search on my photos, right? And you can type in anything. Um, and I knew that I had a folder out there called ginger, just pictures of me as a kid because of my flaming red hair. Right. So I wanted to tie together to prove to you guys that I am a redhead and, you know, motorcycles. Right. So, um, so I found, I found this. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> we'll get back to that, but you can type in anything. You can type in foot and it'll find all the pictures of your feet or, you know, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but Google will find, you know, anything based on what it's AI, right? It'll find whatever it thinks <laughs> you're looking for. So yeah, I, I found this and then it came up with this. <laughs> These are my cousins, um, Beth and Chris, if you're watching, love you. Um, Gwen and Patty, <laughs> this was back in the day when you would turn the TV off and it would go down to a little dot. <laughs> Remember that? And <laughs> National Geographic, old National Geographics, right? You know, when you're a 13 year old boy, you know, the old National Geographics looking for, you know, topless women in Africa, because, you know, I mean, that was the culture, right? So, but it's like, <laughs> So then um, found some other stuff. <laughs> this was high school. Mary, if you're watching, <laughs> we had a blast. Both flaming red gingers, right? And I, I love the Jim Baker glasses. <laughs> kind of creepy, but. <laughs> and then it found this. A couple more redheads. Uh, Megan, an ex ex-girlfriend. And... Uh, yeah, just very intelligent, very funny. Um, and this was actually our first date. Uh, we went for a walk around a lake. I mean, and I and I said, well, which one? We have like 10,000 of them. <laughs> the, the land of 10,000 lakes, right? Minnesota. So yeah, that, yeah, that was fun. I just stumbled across these, okay? Um, and then, oh, and then just as an aside, I was scrolling down and I found some other stuff. This is one of my company cars back when I was running my computer support company, I did that for 18 years. And yes, uh, Caprice Classic with Amer American Racing Torque Thrust 2 rims. Uh, they were aluminum, not good for Minnesota. The salt just ate these to pieces and they just got all corroded. And then, oh, here's, oh yeah, there's actually two of them. So I bought a new, I bought a new Saturn and put the stickers on that one too. So I'm, I sold this one and anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you more about that later. I had a blast doing that too, but, and this was back when I was lifting heavy. Um, no, that's Photoshop. <laughs> and, uh, I found a picture of me and Amy, one of my best friends. Um, Amy, I'll call you later. You know, I promise. All right. No, you call me. You're busier than me. I'm just hanging out. So. Yeah, this was, I think, the state fair. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, love you. <laughs> this is another ex-girlfriend. I stumbled across these pictures. Very talented artist. Uh, lead guitar. Actually, solo. Solo guitar. I think she's got five, maybe six albums out now. And here we're actually in a recording session. I'm talking to one of the production guys. But, yeah, Larry just extremely talented. She was kind of bummed out. She, we had to record the same track like four times. So I'm not sure why I was barefoot, but, um, this is at the Minneapolis convention center, um, guitar expo. That was fun. Uh, but yeah, we're just hanging out in her home studio doing some post-production stuff, some mixing and whatnot. But yeah, that was, yeah, she's really cool. Um, and by the way, I actually, no, this is, you guys, <laughs> that was all Photoshop too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, looking back, you know, that's a little creepy, you know, to Photoshop yourself in with like a national, internationally known artist, right? Yeah. That's, yeah, that was a little creepy, but I, you know, 
in all fairness, I kind of had a crush on her. So it's like, but yeah, that was, that was kind of creepy. But, <laughs> but then uh, I actually was a sound engineer for a while, um, for like five years. Um, I ran sound. I was a sound guy for five different, five different live bands. This is a Yamaha M7 CL48, 48 track um, recording console or mixing console. Um, had a blast doing that. Seriously, I actually did this. Um, so it's like vocals, um, guitars, you know, lead, rhythm, bass, da da da. Eight tracks just for the drums, you know, kick, snare, hi hat, crash cymbal, you know, toms, da da da. But this was really fun. All digital, all the effects are up here, you know, the compression. And uh, we used to have a big rack of equipment, but now it's all digital. So um, anyway, uh, <laughs> just I found, you know, I'm scrolling through and I and I found some photos, um, some kind of funny ones and some kind of creepy ones. But <laughs> I think I think I might cut this off. We'll get back to that mini bike thing. I've got I've got some really funny I've got some really funny stories about this. So maybe I'll do that in the next one. OK, so. Um, Anyway, just a little bit of entertainment. I've got I've got so many stories, you guys. So <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. All right, bye.